Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today, I'm like super excited. We are going to be talking about a new custom made bag that I just got. So stay tuned. I can't wait to tell you about it. Remind me of 12th grade. Remind me of young shade. Feel like a new shoe. Remind me of old games. Taste like an ice cold. Taste like a mango. Feel like some new socks. Taste like an angel. She look like a Badu. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all oh, things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. Guys, today I'm like really, really excited because I want to introduce you guys to a new brand um, and then talk to you guys a little bit about this new bag that I got that was really a custom made bag. And there's going to be a little bit of story time in here. So hopefully I will have like where the bag is so that you guys can like jump to that if you're interested but I do want to tell you guys like how I even got into this space so you guys know I'm all into luxury I'm all into contemporary and I feel like I have been wanting to do something a little bit different you guys know I've been exploring new brands on this channel um, but I really wanted to do something different like my brain is like you know why do I need to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for you know luxury brands all the time which don't get me wrong you know I love a luxury bag right but I wanted something a little bit different so I have been really going back and forth on if I wanted to get a Hermes Birkin and so this is kind of where this all started in part partly I was just going to save up and get it pre-loved um, the ones that I'm looking at are typically the 35 or some 30s, but I, I was going to put myself on a budget of like ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000 to get the bag. And then that turned into being like, how many vacations could I go on for that same amount? Or what could I be doing with that money? And listen, I get it. Like I have money set aside for bags. Like that is life. I get it. But also it's just it was getting to a point where I just felt like that's a lot of money to spend on a piece of leather and my track record thus far you know has been to like wear out some of my bags which I feel like are the the contemporary ones right and then for some of the more expensive ones and not just because they're expensive because I wear all the bags but it's just what I'm drawn to right I'll get the thing that I want and then I won't wear it a ton you know my most expensive bag in my collection and my holy grail which is this classic flap in the size jumbo was seventy four hundred dollars which is the most expensive bag that i have in my collection and i've probably worn this bag less than 10 times and i've had it since either 2021 or 2022 i can't remember so the idea of getting a birkin is like there but it's also like mm -hmm. so I started doing a little bit of research and there was um I don't know how I stumbled upon this but um there was a company which we all know and I used to have a bag from them called Teddy Blake and when they first came out in like the 2018 ish time frame I believe they had a bag that was very similar to the Birkin um and it looked very similar to the Birkin but it did not have the Birkin like insignia like it didn't have any I'm a Birkin it looked it just was a Birkin style bag if you will and so I decided that I would just call them and see if they still made that bag and if they could custom make that bag for me. But when I call them, they have since moved on. They have their own flavors of bags that they have, right? And so I ended up doing more research, guys, and I found the company, the Italian um, leather company that actually was making the bags for um, Teddy Blake back when they first started. And so this company is called Booty Pelliere. 
you y'all know I'm messing that up but I'll put the name below and so on their website I saw that they have all these different types of bag and in any bag that they have on their website you get to customize customizing meaning if you want different leather if you wanted a specific color specific texture they would customize the handbag for you and so I went to their Instagram page and I was looking 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 because they were the ones that were actually making this bag I think it was called I'll put the name below but maybe it was called the Caprice or the Katie is what it was called the Katie and so I saw that bag and then I also saw another bag that was on their web that was on their Instagram from like 2018 but it was definitely like not on their website so I reached out to them and I said hey look I'm wondering if you still make the Katie bag which is the bag that is very much um, Birkin inspired um, or I would be open to this other bag called the Capri bag if you have that available and they said hey look we do not make the Katie bag anymore but we can definitely make the Capri bag for you so six weeks later great experience I got this Capri bag and so I'm gonna put the unboxing somewhere up here as well as a bunch of still shots and then I'm also gonna show you the bag right now so this is the bag guys they make this bag in a size 30 a size 35 and a size 40 this is my custom made Katie bag or Capri bag sorry this is called the Capri bag um, I want to show you guys all around this bag when I open this bag up I will say I was so shocked at just the quality and the absolute beauty of this bag and sometimes on camera you don't get to see how amazing it is and one of the things that I was doing honestly is kind of comparing it to the Birkin 30 because I wanted a Birkin style bag um but I didn't want to pay the Birkin price and who knows I still might end up getting a Birkin in life um but I love the originality of this bag with the elements that it had of the Birkin if that makes sense so this is the size um 30 again and I don't know what this color is called it's just a number from one of their color charts but I thought this would be a great color that I would be able to wear all the time um let me walk you around the bag because I feel like this is the cool side of it and it's giving me Birkin idea vibes without having the exact like oh my god you're trying to have a Birkin and it's not so this is the bag this is um just awesome so I've added this charm but it comes with this charm so whatever color you get it will come with this charm you can choose whatever color you want um, and then you can also choose the hardware color that you want and I chose gold of course because I love gold so this is their stampedo leather I will put it down below this is a very um, nice feeling leather it is malleable but also seems to be very durable and this is very heavy guys this is a heavy bag like on its own so let me walk you um, around the bag so it comes with these handles the handles are as you can see kind of in the middle toward the bottom of the bag which is very unique right because most handles I feel like are up here um, and it comes with these two handles no pockets on the back this is just the back of the bag um it comes with their stamp which is booty uh Pelliere, but this is the booty and then it's cool because it's like magnetic so this little strip is actually closed by a magnet which is great i'm going to show you why in a second um you can see that there is a little d-ring that this is actually hanging on so it's a gold d-ring here and then they also have a gold d-ring in the back um, and they have that because the bag comes with a little strap so I haven't worn this it would be a fairly short strap as you can see but I guess for those days that are hard and the, you know this is a he pretty heavy bag um, it'll be nice to be able to just throw it over your shoulder you know if you need to so I have just been keeping the strap in the bag while I wear it just in case times get hard and mama needs to throw this over her shoulder so I do appreciate that inside of the bag is 
suede, real life suede, y'all. And it is the same color of the bag. As you can see, this is a very large bag. So there is a slip pocket here. And then there is also a zip pocket here. And the slip pocket is total suede. The zip pocket has some type of fabric um, liner on the inside, but pretty much that is the only fabric in the bag. This whole bag is 100% leather and suede. Um, the look of the bag or the feel of the bag reminds me a little bit of the Birkin, even though it's not a Birkin. Um, and I think they've taken some of the elements of when they used to kind of create the Birkin style bag and put it in this bag and made it their own. Um, this comes with four feet, which are absolutely great. And then one of my favorite parts, because to me, this makes the whole bag a whole different bag, is it has this flap here. And the flap, it can be a little bit nuanced, but I have been loving kind of using it like this. So this is the flap right here and it closes down and it's great. Like one day I wore this in the rain and I didn't want to get the suede inside messed up. So I just threw the flap down. So this is how it looks without the, without it being kind of a tote bag. So you can wear it like this, which to me is a little bit more grown up, but I think it would be great for like travel or if it's raining or if you need to close your bag because you don't want anybody all up in it. Um, and then you can easily, oh, that's what I meant to tell you. And that's where that um, magnet comes in as well because there's a magnet on, you probably can't see it, but there's a magnet, oh yes you can, there's a magnet right here that actually fits right down in there perfectly so that it is secure, which I love. So, and then when you do it like this, you're kind of wearing it in the tote style. So there's a couple of different ways that you can wear it, which I, again, love the versatility. So like the, I'm just comparing it to the Birkin because I just am. And, and I'm comparing it based on what I've seen of the Birkin because I've never held a Birkin before. Um, but with the Birkin, you can kind of tighten it up based on those little, those little flaps on the side. So you can kind of do the same thing here. So you can have it like this where you kind of have the sides in if you want a more structured look. Or you can push the sides out if you want kind of a more just totally relaxed look to your bag love it and then you have the same ability when you actually use the flap and close it so you can have these kind of out and open reminds me a little bit of the celine like phantom bag if you've ever seen that bag um with it open like this or you can just kind of push these in to kind of go back to that more structured look of the bag um the leather is awesome on this bag and it literally for those people who actually liked the smell of leather, like when I opened this, I was like, holy moly, this is like giving you all the leather feels and smells. And it's an, I mean, I've been having so much fun. I've been wearing this bag nonstop since I've gotten it um, for a couple different reasons, partly because I wanted to see like if this was going to be a vibe for me, right? I don't have any bags that are tote bags like this outside of my um coach rogue 30 which is different because the handles are a lot shorter right um but this has been so much fun to wear it is heavy um for sure like it is heavy by itself um i don't i don't know maybe in another video i'll see if it's as heavy as like my jumbo or something like that but it definitely has some weight to the bag but um i am loving it the only thing that, and it's not even a complaint, is that since the handles are so low, you know what I mean? You can see the kind of moving groove. So sometimes I'm just conscious of like, you know, holding it to the side or, you know what I mean, just holding it down the middle. Um, the stitching is white on this bag. Really done very, very well. So this is my Booty Pelletier bag. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I am absolutely going to get another one made in another color. Um, it took about six to eight weeks to get this made. They originally said three to four weeks. It took several weeks 
uh, more to have it completed. Um, it shipped out to me from Italy within 48 hours, so I would say two days. Um, and basically how it works with them, you pay half when you start the process, you pay the other half once the bag is completed. Um, it comes in beautiful, uh, you know, they wrap it really, really well. They do a very good job, comes with a beautiful dust bag. Um, I think I've showed you all of that, in from, all that stuff hopefully here. Um, and it's just a great, great bag. And it just, it gives me all the good vibes. And it's kind of giving me the Birkin feels without the Birkin. It's making me feel like, you know what? I might hold on to my $10,000. Uh, most important thing ever, I think, is the cost. Like, how much does this cost? Um, this bag, bespoke, made to order, not on their website, made for me, was under $700. I believe that it was about $685. A bag that was made for me from scratch, under $700. Italian leather, all the things from a reputable organization. So I do feel like, wow, I got this for less than $700. <sighs> I kind of might be hard pressed to pay $10,000 for a used Birkin um, when this is kind of giving me the same type of tote feel and tote vibes even though it's not Hermes but this is definitely um a bag that was handmade for me um so I really appreciate it I'm probably going to get another one in a different color and I'm also going to see if it if there's an ability for it to come in a smaller size um I find that the 30 is a great size in general you can put a lot of stuff in it but it's 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 big it's big and I think if it were cut like bing bing like a little bit smaller it would probably be perfect but I am going to um, share the information below from the website if you guys are interested in customizing anything um, just so that you guys have it I mean for me I'm just really trying to find new ways and new interesting things to really get great products that are sometimes off the beaten path like you know what I mean like because luxury is getting so expensive I want to find other ways to find my luxury and so this was a very I mean this bag is a luxury bag it's very luxurious for a great contemporary price so um yes if you get one of these bags thank me later. Okay. I'm just going to say thank me later. Like this is, it's so great. I mean, I have been having the best time wearing it and feeling like a million bucks. So thank you for embarking on that journey with me. I feel like having something that is custom made for me is super exciting. And it's just a great way to get away from just the everyday things that everybody and their mama has, which everybody always says that on YouTube and Instagram, but I don't see anyone around me with any of the things that I have, except Neverfulls. I see people with Neverfulls all the time, and I see people with coach bags all the time, but outside of that, I don't see people with a ton of luxury bags where I live. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like this video is just like, think outside of the box, make some really cool connections and doing something that everybody else isn't doing, if that's your vibe, and see how cool the outcome is. So I hope you really enjoyed that video. Please ask me any questions about my experience or the bag itself. Um, put those uh, questions down below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys another weekend, um, Saturday, Wednesday, whatever of this week. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Do not forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you on another What I'm On Today. All right? Talk to you soon. Bye.